no fluff track interview. Here's the good and the bad. I'm Dr. Sam Antonassi. I set the ball and club speed world record on TrackMan last year. Learned a lot along the way. Here are the pros and cons of TrackMan. Pro number one of TrackMan, outside accuracy for ball data is phenomenal because it's a radar based unit, which means it's actually going to see the true ball flight, giving you more accurate outside data. Pro number two of TrackMan is the awesome software associated with the TrackMan system. Now you can see over here, we got practice modes, courses that you can play. We have tournaments, you have games online. You can play against friends. There are tons of different leagues you can join, competitions you can compete in, trackman combines you can do to get better at wedges, irons, drivers, phenomenal system, tons of great software. The courses on trackman are absolutely phenomenal. They have a bunch of virtual tournaments out there for both professionals and amateurs, and you can even compete at home on your own unit. So the pro number three of TrackMan is all of the data. TrackMan is known for being one of the most accurate launch monitors out there. And as you can see by all the numbers behind me, there's a lot of data that it presents that you can track to help improve your game. Pro number four about TrackMan is the dry swing speed mode. TrackMan has one of the best systems for dry swing speeds. This allows you to swing and measure club speed without actually hitting a golf ball. It's amazing for boosting your nervous system so that you can hit the ball further because you can also use speed training aids like the Speed Toad. So con number one of TrackMan is simulated spin. You can see there that it's italicized. TrackMan doesn't actually have enough ball flight to read since it's a radar unit, which makes it really great outside because it gets to read the spin. It has unlimited ball flight, but in here, inside, what happens is it starts guessing spin. That's no good. They did make a specific ball, which has a little microchip in there. It's called an RCT ball, which helps read spin a little bit more accurately, but you can still run into italicized spin, which is it guessing, or sometimes it will double the spin and you'll end up still getting too much spin. Don't really get accurate numbers inside all the time. Con two of TrackMan is inconsistent club speed measurements. Now, the reason for this is that TrackMan, since it's a radar system, what it's doing is creating an image of the club head moving through the zone. What happens with this is sometimes it picks up different parts on the club head itself, giving you different speed readings because the toe moves faster than the heel. So what happens is you might have one swing be two miles an hour faster while the other swings four miles an hour slower. You actually didn't swing that much different. It's just the readings of TrackMan in general. Now, all of this can be exacerbated through poor or impact, all of this leads into inconsistent club speed readings with TrackMan. My third con about TrackMan is the indoor setup requirements that it needs to operate properly. One of which is really good lighting. I had to add this super jumbo light just to help it to read. You also have to have the TrackMan set seven feet behind the ball and also get at least 10 feet of ball flight. The faster you swing and the harder you hit the golf ball, the more flight it needs. Otherwise, you're gonna start having a lot of no reads. You're gonna have more misreads. So if you're running into issues like this, you need more lighting and more ball flight. And while TrackMan is great outdoors, it does come with its limitations. Number four con is that it doesn't have a screen associated with it. So if you're using it outside, you have to bring either a computer or an iPad to actually get your data on hitting golf balls. On top of that, it does have a pretty short battery life. It's about four hours. I found it's closer to three or three and a half hours. Now this is a pretty short battery life. So if you're going out to the range for a long period of time, maybe you're a teacher and have multiple students, this might not be optimal for you. You need to bring some extra battery life to the course. Con number five about TrackMans, if you wanna play any of these awesome courses or any of the other cool game modes, you're gonna have to pay a subscription every single year. It's a little over $1,000. That's a reoccurring cost. Not the best after buying a 25 plus thousand dollar unit. And my last con about TrackMan is the putting and chipping associated with the simulations. Since it's a radar based system, it becomes a little finicky when you're trying to do little short touch shots in a game simulation. There you go. <laughs> That's it. There's my no fluff pro and con TrackMan review. These are just some of the things that I've learned hitting tens of thousands of golf balls through a TrackMan over the last couple of years. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe to us on all social media platforms.